What's up everyone, this is Austro97 once again bringing you guys a Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. This is NU tier versus a guy I met on Smogon. Uh, he disconnected from the chat so I never got to talk to him to see if he had a YouTube channel or whatever, but um, yeah, it was actually a really good match. And I lead off with my, my Namau, my Persian, and uh, he leads off with his Pinsir, I, I believe, yes, Pinsir. And, uh, I just go for the, what did I go for? My bad. Oh, the fake out, duh. I went for the fake out just to get some damage off before you could, obviously. And that does actually a lot of damage. And so then I just U-turn out there before he can use a fighting type move, because that would obviously, t obviously it's good against normal, so take me out. Because this thing has terrible defense. So, I go into my Metapod. You guys have seen him before. And he used a stealth rock, which I wasn't. Per I didn't even know those things learned stealth rock, but he uses stealth cax, and I go for the. Or no, he goes for the earthquake. My bad. I went for the earthquake too, but this thing takes me out in one hit. This thing has massive attack, and that kind of sucks. So he didn't even get to battle at all the whole the whole time, which is kind of kind of sucks balls. But I go back into my Lamau. And I didn't know if he was going to switch out. I was, I was thinking he would, but I went for the, um... God, I keep forgetting that move. What's it called? A fake out. I, keep, I went for the fake out anyway, just in case he stayed in. Um, but he switches into his lair on, and this thing... It, that, oh, no, I go for return. I go for return, my bad, because I, I knew he would switch. I don't know what I was thinking. And that did, like, 2 HP damage. <laughs> this is kind of stupid. So then I go into my pubes. Um... I know anything that this thing throws at me, it can, this thing can take, pubes can take, but it just goes for the auto-demise, auto-demise, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, so he, he raises his speed, which doesn't really affect this, because he even even if he went for the head smash like he did, he, well, he missed there. Even if he would have hit me with the head smash, it would have done, like, half damage, maybe. This thing has, this thing is bulky as fuck, uh, but... So I go for the sleep powder because I, I don't want him to attack me at all, even if it won't do that much. And then I go for the leech seed just to get some health back and to help me take this thing out because it's bulky. And I get some health back. It, well, this thing is cool because um, its ability is regenerator. I think Ho-Oh has that too. And some other Pokemon. So whenever I switch it out, it gains like one third of its HP back or something, which is awesome. But I mean, I have this Giga Drain Leech Seed, so right now I'm not needing that. I'm not needing to switch out, but so I just keep uh, Giga Drain, getting as much health off of that, off of him as I can. Um, and this last Giga Drain takes him out easily. Because what's cool about Tangela is it's got really great defense, but it's also got really great special attack. So it's kind of like a mixture, and it's pretty awesome. So he goes back into his pincer, does X scissors, and you'll see what I mean here by like how bulky this thing is. Like right there. That pincer has max attack, I'm, I'm guaranteeing it, and it has life orb, so that should have done a lot more, but this thing has max defense on it, so and Tangela is a beast. Look at my peeps going to work right there. It's actually HP Ice, I want four. So he sends out he sends out his braviary or blue eagle thing and I go into my YOLO hashtag YOLO and I forget what I go for oh he goes for the U-turn which I thought would kill me but it somehow doesn't and uh, I go for well, he switches into his pseudo wudo his apple tree thing yeah apple tree I don't know how I remember that and I just go for the explosion this thing isn't really used to me anyway this is what it's here for so I go for the explosion, and it does like 28, 20 damage to this thing. Just watch, just watch. Okay, more than that, but still, uh, that's terrible. Anyway, I got some damage off on him, so he's all right. And we go back into the mouth. The mouth. Uh, he switches into his throw or thrall. I don't know how to pronounce some of these new black and white Pokemon. But uh I just go for the fake out. I knew he would probably switch out, but even if he did, it still does a lot of damage. 
because this uh thing has technician on it or whatever it's called. Yeah, technician the ability. Something like that. So he goes for the bulk up and I'm just trying to get damage off of him before he starts attacking because I know this thing could easily sweep my team with enough bulk ups. And so I just go for a U turn. I don't Yeah, I go for the U turn to switch into something that would uh, handle him better, which I think I go into my pubes, yes. My pubes. Ah, look at those, that ball of pubes right there. And, yeah, as you can see, he has some health back uh, from switching out. So this thing's continuously bulking up. Uh, he was, I think he was trying for the sweep. And, but, I go for the sleep powder. And, then, what's funny, he has Lumberry and he wakes up. And he goes for the rest. So it kind of screws his plan over with the lump, or, or Chesto Berry. It kind of screws his plan over because he doesn't have a Chesto Berry to wake him up again. So this is good for me because I can get all my health back. I can start setting up on his throw, and uh, he won't be able to attack me. Obviously, he's asleep. So I seed him just to get some extra HP damage and HP gain. As you can see, my pubes are going to work. Sorry, I'm tired. Ugh. So uh, my ball of pubes right here, blue pubes, is going to work on his team right now. Go for another Giga Drain just to damage him. It's the only effective attack I have on this thing, obviously, and I get some HP back. So after the leech seed off, full HP once again. And he is slowly but surely going down in HP. Another, another Giga Drain, just, I'm still trying to damage him. I, I could have switched out a bunch of times, but I knew if he woke up, he's going to have a, a really high attack. But did you see how much that did? It did like nothing, because Tangela is so bulky. Uh, at least mine is. Uh, so I go back and, or he switches me out into Lamau, which is kind of cool, because then I can just fake out. And I knew he'd probably switch out, but then I was like, well, maybe, maybe he won't. So I go for the fake out. Just in case, because anything he sends in really, except for that layer on, which is dead now, will get some damage done to it by the fake out, so. Go for the fake out. It does like a third of the damage on Braviary, or maybe, maybe less than that, but. Then I just go for the return, trying to get some more damage off on it. So basically, it's, it's pretty much my game right now. But he goes for the U-turn again. He could, he could just use Brave Bird and would have taken me out right there, but he switches into his Raichu for some reason. Oh yeah, it has Focus Blast on it, I think. Yeah, I was predicting actually a fighting type move, so I switched out into my um, my Muck, but, and this this Muck is specially defensively, special defensively bulky, and I knew Raichu would only use a special attack, because obviously that's what it has, that's what it's good in. So I used Focus Blast, and it did like 20 damage, 30 damage. But it lowers my special defense, which really doesn't matter. So then I uh, know he switch out because he's not going to be able to do anything to my my muck. So I use the uh, curse just to get some defenses up, and the curse actually helped me out somewhat later on in the battle. You will see. But he switches into his apple tree, and uh, in a second you'll see something really strange that I have never seen before. But while we're he healing up with our leftovers and whatnot. He uses Earthquake, and I didn't think it would take me out, and I was right. It leaves me with like 40 HP, around, yeah, 36 HP. And I used Disable, I don't really know why, but I, I didn't want him using another Earthquake. He could have, he can easily take me out with anything else. I guess I was predicting my, my Muck to take that better than he did, actually. But this is what was confusing, like, he has plenty of other moves, but he it says he has no moves and he uses struggle, and he injures himself in the process. Like, unless this thing he taught it struggle, which I don't even know if that's possible. It's really weird, because you'll see like right here. Once I attack, once I attack his apple tree. Oh wait, no, never mind. You'll see that later. Well, later on, once I attack his apple tree, like all, all I want for the fake out, he uses sucker punch, and it's like thought you were out of moves, so I don't know. But he switches into his throw. I don't know why he did, because he, he knows I'm going to fake out. And I do, and it takes out his throw, which is good, finally, because that was a, a threat with that all those bulk ups. See, right here, right here. He goes for the sucker punch, but it's like he 
just use struggle because he had no moves. I, I really don't know. It's kind of it's really weird, but so I send in my pubes again, full HP still, and he he switches out. But I I, I think I went. I don't even remember what I went for. I went for Giga Drain, just in case he didn't switch out. I could easily one hit KO him from where he was at with the Giga Drain. And he, but he he does switch into his Braviary, and. Like I said, this thing is really bulky and it's got amazing defense. You'll see right here that Brave Bird, those would usually take most things out, but it only does like half damage because I don't even have full HP, so it's pretty good. So then I just finish him off with an HP Ice. And that is gone. There we go. So right now my pubes are sweeping the field. Like, if he's already taken out about three. Three Pokemon, four of, of that guy's team. He goes for the Sucker Punch, not gonna do anything. And then I just finish this Apple Tree off with a Giga Drain. So yes, my pubes are, are majestical. They're sweeping this team, basically. And he only has, I think he only has one more Pokemon left. Yeah, yeah, he's Raichu, which I, I, from this point I know I'm gonna win. But he goes for the Focus Blast. And since this thing isn't the be it doesn't have the best special defense, um, it, I'm does it take it out? Yeah, it takes it out. I was actually gonna go for the sleep powder right there so I could uh, take out his Raichu. So my last Pokemon is my my rabies. My what are they called? Freaking! I have no memory of Pokemon today. Radicate. And I go for the protect to get my poison on, and because I knew he'd use Focus Blast. And right here, I, I could have gone for another pr uh, protect. Because I thought he, I knew he would go for another focus blast, obviously, and I knew I could probably protect myself once again. But for some reason, I didn't, and I felt for some reason I felt like he was gonna miss that focus blast. And to my luck, he does, and it takes out his Raichu. So that was a great match. And remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Peace, guys.